What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today we're going to be showing off some tabletop Pokemon trading card game action from the 2018 World Championships format, Breakthrough Through Celestial Storm. This format includes some of the best cards from the X and Y era, and some of the best cards from the early Sun and Moon era as well. It's a very fun format to play, and includes one of the most powerful fighting type decks of all time, and one of my personal favorites, Buzzwold GX, Lycanroc GX, as well as one of the most powerful dragon type decks of all time, Turbo Rayquaza GX. It really is a fun format to play, and it's a little bit of a simpler time, because it's before Pokemon with three prizes were ever released. So no tag team Pokemon here, and and no Pokemon VMAX. Let's check out the decks. On my side of the table, I'm going to be playing Buzzwold GX Lycanroc GX, or Buzzrock for short. This was definitely one of my favorite decks to play during this era, and it's the deck I ended up taking to the 2018 World Championships. I was also able to finish in the top four of regional championships this year with a Buzzwold Lycanroc deck. The idea of this deck is to power up Buzzwold GX and its Knuckle Impact attack with a combination of Max Elixir and Beast Ring. Knuckle Impact costs 3 Fighting Energy, and it does a base 160 damage, which might not seem like a lot by today's standards, but when you take into account that everything had about 190-200-ish hit points, Knuckle Impact could easily hit 1-hit KO numbers. Strong Energy boosts your attack damage by 20, Diancy Prism Star increases your attack damage on Fighting-type Pokemon by 20, and Choice Band increases your damage done to Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX by 30. So there were many ways to get that Knuckle Impact attack to hit over 200 damage to one hit KO anything in the metagame, and Knuckle Impact could be powered up as early as the first turn of the game going second if you were lucky enough with your Max Elixirs. Now to back up Buzzwold GX, we have Lycanroc GX, which is an amazing fighting type Pokemon. It's got 200 HP and the incredible Bloodthirsty Eyes ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon on your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So Lycanroc GX was a guaranteed gust effect Combined with four copies of Guzma, this deck could target down any threat on the opponent's bench before they were able to power it up. And then Lycanroc GX's Dangerous Rogue GX was an awesome two energy GX attack. Dangerous Rogue GX does 50 damage times the amount of bench Pokemon your opponent has in play. So if they have five bench Pokemon in play, a full bench, you're going to be dealing a base 250 damage for just two energy with Dangerous Rogue GX. Rayquaza GX was one of the most hyped new decks out of Celestial Storms heading into the 2018 World Championships. I tested this list a ton leading into the event, but didn't end up playing it. My buddy Otto did, however, and he finished in the top 64 of the event, so maybe I should have played Turbo Ray. I'm very proud of Otto and his accomplishments with this deck list. Rayquaza GX is a very aggressive attacker. It's got the Stormy Winds ability, which is quite destructive. It reads, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may discard the top three cards of your deck. If you do, attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. You can also accelerate energy under Rayquaza GX using Max Elixir. And then Dragon Break for a Lightning, a Grass, and a Colorless does 30 damage times the amount of basic Grass and basic Lightning energy attached to your Pokemon. And then Tempest GX is a great consistency option for this deck. For one Grass Energy, it allows you to discard your hand and draw 10 cards. This deck is fairly simple and straightforward, considering you're constantly going to be milling your own resources using Rayquaza GX's Stormy Winds ability. Rayquaza GX had a pretty decent matchup against Buzzwold GX Lycanroc, which was by far one of the most popular decks at the 2018 World Championships this year. In the gameplay ahead, we're going to be recreating this classic 2018 matchup with Will piloting Rayquaza GX and myself behind the wheels of Buzzwool Lycanroc. Bro, you ever open all four Max Elixir in your opening hand? I've I've gotten three. I've never gotten four. I got four. Oh man. Yeah. You know. <laughs> good thing you're going you the good thing you're going first. Uh -huh. <laughs> That'd be really bad. But I've got it's like I can't even use them though, right? <laughs> uh because I can't even use them because I have, like, what, am I going to do four max elixirs onto a baby buzz? Start swinging around, bro. Start swinging, <laughs> start swinging around, dog. 
No, I can't. I literally can't. I have to save those. So I have to just literally ultra ball <laughs> those away uh, for a lele. And we have to, uh, yeah, we, we just have to end this hand out. I can't yeah. do it. Yeah, I can't do it. We just have to tapu lele, wonder tag, and end, which feels bad. But uh, I'm getting comments in the chat. Somebody didn't shuffle. No, dude. I mean, random is random. <laughs> random is random. You're not guaranteed a perfectly divided hand. That'd be insane. You're guaranteed a random hand. <laughs> yeah, random is random. You can get four of a kind randomly. Not likely, but it happens. Oh, yeah. So uh, we should be good to go now. Yes, there are 16 energy in the Rayquaza deck, which is a ton of energy. Yeah, it is a lot. Uh, still, it's an absolute, over a quarter of the uh, the deck of the deck is energy. All right, so we're looking for an energy to attach turn one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, all right. Rock Rough, good. Brooklet Hill, good. We're going to use Brooklet Hill. Gets a basic fighting type or water type Pokemon from my discard or from my deck and puts it into play. So I think we're just going to go get a... I don't think you got the turn one knockout on my Zygarde. I'm just I'm going to go ahead and say I don't think you got it like that. So we're going to go get Remoraid. I could. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to attach energy to my Rock Ruff and pass to you. All right. I'll draw. Um, let's go... Treasure Way of the Grass. And then... I think I want another ray. And yes, this is the this is the Rayquaza list that uh, our team played at Worlds. Well, that Auto played, uh, and he grinded into day two with it, and then finished in the top sixty-four of the World Championships with it that year. Bench Latias Prism. Yep, and then I think. There's no way you can knock out my ray next turn, right? You would think. I don't think there's a way. Unless absorption, get... dude. I guess. Triple you could max absorption. elixir. Absorption. absorption. I mean, sure. Yo, but... we got Jump Boost Gaming in the chat with five gifted subs. Thank you so much for the generosity there. Hopefully, you're having a great day. Thank you so much, Jump Boost chat. Let's get some hype going for Jump Boost in the chats. Uh, treasure. Away. Probably the Cynthia. For Ray. And I already have energy in there. So I, I think I will choose to ma use ma my max elixir first. Sounds good. And I do hit energy. And you can see how easy it is to just power energy into play with this... Rick Waza GX. It's pretty good. Uh, between Max Elixir and Stormy Winds. Not going to lie, when Celestial Storm was first revealed, I was like, I thought this card was kind of a meme. You, thought, you think? I, I thought so, but then it was like seeing results in Japan, and I was like, I guess it's good, right? Uh, and we can kind of see here. I mean, uh, the Turbo Ray was a good deck itself, and then Vicavolt Ray Quaza GX was even a good deck in the following format. I think I'm just going to Tempest. I think that that seems good. Yeah. Tempest GX. Oh, we do need some GX counters now. Man, I haven't played with the GX marker in forever. Right, right. There right. we go. Your turn. Okay, and I'll draw. And let's see what we got here. We've got Cynthia. Oh, I definitely want to end you. That would seem good. Uh, no, don't, don't do that. <laughs> I'm definitely going to end you, but yeah, there's no way you're holding on to that. All right, I'm going to use Brooklet Hill. Yeah. Go get myself a uh, you know, like a Pokemon out of my deck, put it on the bench, something like that. So we're looking at probably Diancie seems super reasonable. Just be able to deal a little bit more damage. And then... 
I know that Will plays Parallel Cities because that card's broken. Yeah, My goodness. Parallel is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I'm going to... All right, so with... If I get... I do 150. If I get a Float Stone and a Lycan Rock off of this, I take the knockout on your man. Yeah, you do. But I don't think I'm going to do that. So <laughs> we're going to go with the... Uh, I think I'm going to go with the Coward's Play here. Mm-hmm. Um and just go for the Zygarde, and then end you. Yep. You had both ends in the first two turns of the game, huh? I guess so. It's pretty lucky. It is pretty lucky. I figured you wouldn't be able to do that. That's why I Tempest. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, because I do only play two end. Yes. yes. And I lay, Well, I did Lele for the first one, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But odds are I would not pull the second one, but now you know I've got no more ends. So That's true. This is, uh, this is true. I'm going to see six. Far worse. Three, hand. four, five. Six, yes, that was the goal. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, now let's... Uh, so I'm dealing 60 damage with Zygarde EX right now, and, and I love Zygarde. Uh, we have used Zygarde in a ton of different decks. It was in uh, our World's Buzz Rock list. It was in... Uh, Buzzgarb Carbank. Buzzgarb Carbank, which is the deck that Natalie got second place at the Collinsville Regional Championships with. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm a big Zygarde stand. Uh, I think this card's absolutely insane in this deck, and uh, you know, it just has a lot of utility, and it's just not weak to Psychic, which is really good yeah. as uh as well. Big Z, for sure. Um. So I have to decide where to go with this hand that I have right now. Uh, whether I want to smack into the active, I, mean, I think the active is probably the best bet for me, and. Yeah, so then we're just going Ultra Ball away at Research or a Professor's, uh, excuse me, uh, <laughs> Professor Sycamore. Sycamore. Yeah, yeah there's no research anymore. Nope. And another Ultra Ball, and we're going to go get Octillery. Octillery is awesome. Did I call Zygarde GX? It's Zygarde EX. I don't know if I called it EX or GX. Yeah, we love Zygarde EX. Yeah. And uh, there's a Zygarde GX. There is, which I played against at this at this tournament, actually. And it did get top four of the world <laughs> it championship. Did, yeah. <laughs> but that card was generally regarded as not that good. Oh, yeah. Yes, I don't know how they did it, but uh, what a legend. Yeah. Um, and uh, Will Abyssal hand for two. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I'm just going to Lance Pulse for 60. Yep. I'll draw. Uh, let's see what we got. First thing I'm going to do is uh, Ultra Ball Way 2 Field Blower. Who needs it? Yeah. yeah. Only against for, only only for Garb. Yeah, it's, it's basically for Garb for sure. For the Marsh Shadow. Yep. I'll attach a Lightning here and Guzma your Octillery. Oh, okay. The Guzma Let Loose. I mean, the Marsh Shadow is honestly just such a insane card because it was a predecessor to Tapu Lele. It was a predecessor to Crobat V. Yep. Um, it allowed you to make plays like the play that Will is making right now, where you could gust draw in the same turn. You know, mm-hmm. uh, instead of just being able to get a supporter with your mysterious treasures, you know, with Tapu Lele, you can also get some draw, yes. which is really good, extremely good, especially in the Rayquaza deck, which just has such a turboed out engine anyway. Okay, four cards, and it's a disruption card. Yep. I'm gonna put a. Does the belt matter? I have four bench. Yeah, it does matter. Actually, no. You have strong, so it doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, I guess there's like nowhere else to put it. Yeah, I'll put it on the active, I guess. Sure. And then uh, dragon break. Okay. Knock out. So my artillery's gone, which is sad, because uh, kind of liked that. You know, nice little uh, consistency booster there. Would have loved to have kept that in play, but uh, it's all good. Single prize there from the Rayquaza. And now I've got my Rock Ruff ready to go. I'll draw for turn, and we are looking like, huh, going to Ultra Ball away. This is a little bit risky. Yeah, that's like more risky than I think I need to be. All right, I'm going to Ultra Ball away. Max Elixir in the Fighting Energy. Yeah. And we're going to go get Lycanroc GX. I'm not going to use Bloodthirsty Eyes because I wanted to. I want to knock out the active. Yep. Um, then I'm also going to use Brooklet Hill while I'm here to go get myself a 
I think. Oh, boy. No. Oh, he's in here. Okay. Rainbow rares are hard to differentiate sometimes. Um, I think we're ready to just go get a Buzzwell GX for the bench. And Will has five prizes remaining. Yep. So, yep. Uh, then we're just going to attach the basic fighting the Lycanroc and Cynthia for six. Wow, what a handoff that let loose, huh? Yes, it's very <laughs> loaded. Yes, very good. <laughs> Indeed. So we're going to go for the Dangerous Rogue GX. Uh, very strong GX attack for this Buzzrock deck. I mean, we take uh, a lot of huge knockouts that, uh, um, that uh, the Buzzwole can't reach early on. With like a rock, just two energy attachments. As you see, we didn't have to hit, you know, max elixir or anything like that. Just a nice, consistent, uh, you know, uh, attack there for two energy that punishes your opponent for putting, you know, more Pokemon in play. And then I know Will just got rid of two field blowers, so feeling confident, just kind of smacking these things down. Um, I don't want to get stuck though, but I think that's fine. I think we'll be all right. I don't think I'm going to get punished there. And I think I can put Choice Band on the Zygarde. And then um, we do have a Dangerous Rogue GX for knockouts. Yep. And we're going to deal 220 damage to take the perfect KO on that Rayquaza. All right. I will Stormy Winds. Yep. And get Grass. Put a grass in the Latias, treat, and N. Okay, so we're going to get our hand disrupted there. Going in with the Latias Prism Star. Very cool card in this deck. I mean, not playable in any other deck, really. But it did see some play. Attach a basic energy card from Rich Compile to each of her benched basic Dragon Pokemon. There each. you go. Yeah. Very good card. Very good. Uh, especially after N, you just N. Repopulate your board with basic energy. Yeah, kind of like the carbing break idea in the in the in the buzz. Buzz carb carbing. Yep. yep, it was busted. Pretty good for sure. Dreamy mist. Uh, you can use it, you know, with either grass or with the lightning energy in the deck. You can only play one of the Latias Prism Star. Uh, it's just such a funny Prism Star Pokemon. I only ever saw play in this deck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's got a, an attack that just seems handcrafted for the Rayquaza GX. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will dream you missed. All right. So going to deal 30 damage and put a lot more energy there into play. Draw for turn myself. And we're going to Brooklet Hill. Go get another Rock Rough to put onto the bench. And... I forgot what Diancy we were dealing more than 220 damage. We were dealing 240. Yes, you were. Sick. All right. And then uh, I think I'm just going to attach my yeah, basic fighting to Lycanroc GX. And we're going to go in with a Claw Slash for 150. Yep. Um, it's so crazy how quick your damage ramps uh, with you know the strong energy boosts your attack damage by 20. Diancy Prism Star boosts your fighting Pokemon's attacks by 20. Choice ban boosts your attacks against GXs and EXs by 30. Oh, this uh, it's uh, very much possible to boost your uh, your overall attack damage by upwards of, you know, like 60, 70, 80 damage even uh, with all of the, uh, you know, with all the various boosts that you have for fighting type Pokemon. Oh, and this is definitely the heyday of... Uh, you know, the heyday of fighting types, for sure. Oh, yeah. I, like, Buzzrock was, I think, the best fighting type deck uh, in recent history. Yeah, for uh, sure. For sure. I mean, like, Colossal and the Bears nah. don't even <laughs> remotely stand up to the potency of Buzzrock. Buzzrock was uh, just a top three deck in standard for uh, the entire time it was it was around. How many end? I think this plays two and two Cynthia, right? Man, it has been a long time since yeah, 2018. Definitely does. Yep. Um, I really wish the deck played more than one Marshadow. That'd be really cool. I think a second Marshadow. Like, if I were building that deck, 
with yeah. my current brain, yeah. it would have two bar shadow in it. Oh yeah, for sure. But like Mar Shadow at this time, Mar Shadow was underrated though. Yeah. Like people didn't know it was broken yet. Mm-hmm. Uh it was just played in Ray because you already played Mysterious Treasure. But like then we realized that Dex should be playing like two. Then like, you know, think of the following year, you know, like Team Up comes out, you know, people start putting you know, two Mar Shadows in your Picarom decks. People start putting Mar Shadow in your Zap Beast decks. Yep. People start putting Mar Shadow in your Blacephalon decks, Blacephalon GX decks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mar Shadow was everywhere the following I mean, year. I mean, you, you like, might as well play one. Even yeah. if, if you don't play Treasure, you, like, you might as well just play one. It, why it, wouldn't you? I know there's no reason not to play it. <laughs> and nobody played it, though. I mean, well, the following year they did. But this but year, they, nobody, this year did. nobody played nobody it. Nobody played it. Yeah. Right. In no decks. Like, you could even play that card in, like, in like buzz garb yeah you know <laughs> you could. Like, but like why not you know what i mean yeah all yeah. right i'll i'll drag and break for definitely knockout all right that sounds good uh but yeah pretty much all like as soon as tag teams were out you know everybody got hip to marsh shadow everybody started playing it but during this year the 2018's world's year it did not see a lot of play yeah uh, but i think that i agree with will if i were going back you know, with my current knowledge of this format, I would go back and I'd slam a second one in there for sure. Yeah. Um, because that card is just so busted. All right, three to three prizes. We'll see what it do. I'm gonna promote Diancy, draw a card. Andrew needs a old beast ring right about now. Right about now. Yeah. The funk soul brother. All right, yes. We need beast ring. Uh that'd be very good. I think that uh I am going to, let's see, Cell Storm right now is doing 60, 80, 110. 60, oh, why are we short? Uh, yeah, 60, 80, plus 30, 110. Dang, bro. 10 damage short on that ray, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, all right. I think this is fine, though. Let's see. We're doing. Um, okay. Because my odds of knocking out the active are, like, not super high. Let's see, 60, 90. I mean, I could 110. We just go for it with the Buzzwell GX. Uh, I think that I'm guaranteed this knockout, though. You need so a strong. I'm going to Lycan Rock. Let's see, 60. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do this math again. That's 60, 80. Oh, I'm doing enough to knock out this ray because of the Diancy. I forgot the Diancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to attach to the okay, there you go. Zygarde. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we're going to Lycan Rock up your Rayquaza over here yep. with Bloodthirsty Eyes. And we're going to put the float stone on the Diancy. Mm-hmm. Zygarde, insane. All right. And then I'm going to Brooklet Hill to thin the deck. Yep. And we want to hit a beast ring. Yeah, you really do. We really do. All right. I can't Brooklet Hill. Well, I got nobody in there. Nice. That's fine. All my boys are in play. <laughs> yeah. What else do I need? Yeah. That's all you need. That's all we need. One Buzzwell GX, one Z Money leading the charge. All right. I'm going to bring up that damaged. Rayquaza, and we're going to go and Sycamore. Draw seven cards, looking for a B-string. Well, we don't draw all your fighting as long as your B-strings. <laughs> nah. Order of operations. All right, we're going to tie Max Elixir first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we hit the fighting energy. And then we're going to go B-string. B-string. I mean, what a bonkers card. You ever just look at B string and be like, why'd they print that? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Every day I look at B string and I'm like, why did they why did they print B string? You know, I don't know. I think I forgot to download B string, but B string is an item card that you can only play if your opponent has three or four uh cards remaining. Prize cards remaining. Prize cards remaining. And uh you get to search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach to one of your ultra beasts. Yep. Buzzwell GX qualifies. Yes, it does. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, we got that B string there, and then uh, I have some other uh, let's see random cards in my hand. Anything in my discard pile that I want to bring back? I think I am going to. I've already tried Brooklet Hill. Um, we only play a two-two Lycan Rock line, so the Rescue Stretcher doesn't really need to bring anything back of importance there. I think that we are just good to. Come up with the Zygarde EX and Cell Storm. Cell Storm for knockout. So I've got the Zygarde loaded up. I've got the Buzzwell loaded up. I only need a Guzma here. Right, because you got to take out my Buzzwell. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Because that thing is threatening uh, to KO any of your Requazas for game. Um, also, if I have Guzma, I can just knock out the Marsh Shadow for game as well. Yep. 
but I can't Guzma and N in the same turn unless there's two Marshadow in the deck, which there is not. Right. So I, why we should all be playing two Marshadow. Yep. Yes. I'm gonna attach there. Um, what's even here? Both Lele. Uh, cards in hand. I have seven. Uh, yeah. There's no way you don't have it, right? Right. Go treasure. <sighs> yeah, I think it's uh. I'll I'll play to my outs. I'll yep. uh, stretcher for the Lele. Yep. Get a Guzma and Guzma the Buzzle GX. Okay. Now we have Auto in the chat. Auto, first of all, congratulations on your finish of the 2018 World Championships with this deck, uh, the Rayquaza deck. How did you fare against the Buzzwolves that you played against? Uh, I think Otto said he went positive and just destroyed all the buzz. Yeah. I think he just like absolutely smacked all the ones he played against. Yeah, because game one, I would have had you for sure. Oh, yeah, I was done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I was done. I was done. Yeah. Um, how much are you doing with that? You're doing 80, 100? 100, yes. Whoa! And he's got a fighting resistance. Yep. yep. Um, Dragon Break for uh, exactly enough. All right. So that's going to be a KO there. Oh, Promote the Diancy. Draw my card. I've got strong energy for the Zygarde and Guzma up. Yep. Marshadow. I actually could knock out your Tapulele too, I think. Yeah. With Land's Wrath. Let's see. You got 140, 160, minus 140. Plus the Diancy. Yeah, yeah. I, I counted the Diancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, I actually think I would have had an easier time knocking out your Lele potentially. Yeah, you would have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyways, Land's Wrath for knockout and yep. game Zygarde doing 100. 20, 40, 60, 190 damage. Uh, Could have knocked out the Tapu Lele. Uh, Zygarde EX gets in there. He uh, does, man. I'm it's telling you. It's really... My favorite thing about Zygarde EX in this deck is that it's got that two energy punch. Yes. Where, you know, the only other two energy punch that you have in the deck is with your Lycanroc GX. But against Zorark decks, having a two energy punch that can one-hit KO a Zorark easily is very strong. Yes, and, and it heals. And it heals, and it's not weak to Psychic. Yes. So you can go in against Zorark decks that are not Zorark Elisopod decks. Zorark Elisopod, you're, <laughs> you're in a tough spot, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you could go in with Zygarde EX against Zorark decks and not fear Trash Lanch, not fear Mew EX, uh, which were some major uh, kind, of, uh, kind of threatening, uh, threatening things. Ooh, Latias start. Yep. I'll draw. Looks good. First thing I will do is Stormy Winds with Rayquaza. And I do hit the grass. What a sack! And I will play Max Elixir. What a huge sack! Get another grass. So lucky! <laughs> yeah. This is pretty good. Just went in. I mean... A third of your deck is that, or a fourth of your deck's energy, so. Yeah, might, might as well. Lightning from hand and Sycamore. This guy has got quite a bit of energy in play. All right, another ray? Yep. Discarding the uh, parallels is not fun. Right, but, yeah, you know, it's the nature of the beast. Yeah, it's fine. Um, right, attach for turn. Go ahead. All right, draw for turn. And, okay, we've got some things. Uh, it's not great uh, to swing into this thing. I don't want to I don't want to do yeah. damage to the Latias <laughs> star. That is not on my agenda. But if I have to, that's okay. I think that's uh, got Brooklet Hill. Just mm. going to go in. Brooklet Hill. Let's see if we've got the Octillery in the deck. Do I have the Remoraid as well? I do. Uh, I think I want to start to set that thing up. And then an Ultra Ball away, Beast Ring and Lele. Yep. And we're going to go for a Rock Ruff. Start to set that guy up. Just hope it doesn't get gusted, you feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, but pretty sure, that ra pretty sure that Ray deck plays a lot of Guzmas. Plays four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, insane. Right. You don't want that Ray getting stuck. Nope. Nope. You just want to be able to Guzma 
pretty much at all times. I think it plays three float too. Yes, yes, plenty of switch outs. Are we gonna go for the max elixir here? Oh yeah, onto the rock. Let's rock. go. And uh, now we're gonna go in with a sycamore. Draw seven cards. Let's go. And choice band to the bench. Sycamore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Got just an energy for my buzz wall, and we are going to jet punch 30 damage. Yep, to those guys. Drop Precisely. Turn. Let's go. Lightning on the ray without the energy, or without the three energy. Yep. And then uh, Guzma, the rock rough. Of course, yeah, yep, yeah, that's fine. I wish there was a way to take knockout with this, but there isn't. Um, and Dragon Break. Okay. Now, this is definitely a way to lose uh, the game. So. Yes. For sure. <laughs> it's not great. Not great. Are we going to. The Baby Buzz is like bad right now because you gusted around it. Yeah. Um, so that's fine. I can maybe poke with it again, but like it's not just not really doing a lot. I think I'd rather just go for just go for the knockout. You know what I mean? Sure. Just hit, try to hit Max Elixir Floatstone and just say that's that's what we got. All right, Brooklyn Hill. And we'll get ourselves the uh let's see if there's another rock rough in my deck. Uh, there might not be. There's not. So we're going to go with Diancy instead. We're looking for Max Elixir Floatstone for my Buzzwall. If not, uh, might be sacking this Remoraid. How many cards are in your hand, Will? Uh, six. Six. Um, you know, I could bench my Sledgehammer Buzzwall. I don't think it hurts. Just in case, um, just in case Will doesn't have Guzma and I whiff the Floatstone. So we're going to just go for that. Sycamore, draw seven new cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. It's not looking fantastic, but cool. We'll go Ultra Ball Away, Lycan Rock, and B String. Mm -hmm. And. Octillery. Go get Octillery. And we're going to get to Abyssal Hand a little bit here. See if I can't find a Max Elixir um, off these top two. Abyssal Hand. We do not. So I think that, uh, frankly, I'm just going to retreat into the Baby Buzzwall. And just kind of bide my time here. Pass to you. Yep. Draw. Force you to Guzma again. Let's go. Max Elixir. Very unfortunate because I have like five energy in my hand. Missed it. Um, if I would have hit that, that would have been really sick because I could have. Uh, attach from hand, Guzma, or Lele for Guzma, and then on the buzzwall. Right. For 210, but could not have done that. Could have Lele for the Guzma first, but I guess you want to see, like, if you're going to be Guzming before you, yeah. you know, before you thin. But you have a lot of energy in your hand, so. Attach there. I think I just sent the honestly. What's crazy is the buzzwall, like, hangs on by 10 hit points with yeah. the Guzma there, right? Uh, just that Extra 10 hit points, 190. I mean, it's such a difference maker with Buzzwall GX because of, uh, you know, because the magic number up until that point is like 180. Mm -hmm. You know, 180, 170, these are the magic numbers. Buzzwall just comes out with 190. Yeah. Zygarde's got 190. They're both huge Pokemon. You know, in our, uh, you know, Buzz Garb, uh, Carbink deck, we had Fighting Fury Belts on those dudes. And, uh, 230? You know, 230 HP. That's so much. Oh, that's so gnarly for those, you know, 
back in those days, that was a ton of HP. Yeah, now, yeah. you know, it's yeah, you know, let's not talk about now. Uh, <laughs> I know. Save the max elixir. And I'll dragon break. All right. So that's exactly what we wanted here out of Will. No, no Guzma on my boys. Has to knock out the Buzzwolf. Yep. All right. So now Will is at four prizes. We're ready to B-string. Yep. Draw for turn. Uh, I'm going to, I believe, Brooklet Hill. Uh, the ideal, ah, I prized my other buzz wall. Oh, this is something, huh? Um, that's fine. Is my rescue stretcher in the deck? It is. The odds of me drawing into... Rescue Stretcher, BB Buzz, yeah, it's probably not happening. Cool. Um, we'll get the Zygarde. And then we're going to attach Choice Band of the Zygarde, Choice Band of the Buzzwall. Cool. Um, B String to get one energy onto the Buzzwall GX. I have not GX yet or anything like that. You could absorb. I could absorption, yes. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but no need really. Yeah, there's no need. Um, how many cards are in your hand? Six. Okay. Um, I'm gonna attach energy for turn to Zygarde, and abyssal hand for three. Yep. Okay. We will max elixir. Fail it. And then let's see, do I have tap for Lily in my deck? I forget. I think you just carded it with Ultra Ball. Actually. I did. Yeah. All right. Cool. So then we're looking at a floatstone on my Diancy. And we'll Cynthia. Four six. I was looking for maybe a Guzma. Could have knocked out the Rayquaza with the Fighting Fury belt on it. Uh, yeah, if you absorption. Yes, could have absorption. At this point, I prized my other Rock Ruff. Um, so it's like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's it is what it is. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, we'll draw six. Cool. Now. Yo, what is up, Lil Gucci? With that sub, appreciate you, Lil Gucci. Thank you so much for the support there. Uh, I think that we've got four prizes remaining. Um, gonna rescue stretcher the rock rough, mm -hmm. and. Ultra Ball, Away, Fighting and Research, or uh, Sycamore, Sycamore. <laughs> and get Lycanroc GX out of the deck. That's pretty good. Because <clears throat> I really want to hit this Max Elixir here. Okay. Mm. And then I'm going to get that to my hand and use Max Elixir. Top six cards. We find a basic fighting. No. How many did I have left in the deck? Just two. I really like pretty decent odds of hitting it, but it's all good. And then aren't a little bit of a tough spot here. I would agree. But it's all good. I do think that I probably let's see how many max elixirs am I down? One, two. Three. There's one left in the deck. Uh, I think I'm going to Knuckle Impact. Take the knockout. Cool. Buzzwall. Alright, I'll Stretcher. For Ray. Yep. And I know, and I did a <laughs> I did a deck search with a Max Elixir. I, yeah, it's a casual game. I had oh, just yeah. done the I had just done a deck search the you know the previous game action, and you know we were playing a casual game. But yes, no, you can't deck search off a of Max Elixir. <laughs> uh, that's rough. I really I really wanted to not hit an energy off that. Why? 
Because I, I want a Max Elixir. Oh, okay. Get a Lightning and Max Elixir. Get a Lightning. Yeah, the belts are insane in this deck because you hit the number on Buzzwell. I know, right? Oh, they allow you to hit that. Exactly. With the, with the third energy. And I'll blow her that band and that float. That makes sense. And then uh, let's... How many belt am I down? I don't want a little bit of a tough spot here. I already touched turn. Uh, Dragon Break. And you have, like, no bench Pokemon. Yeah. For me to be able to take advantage of. Oh, yeah, that is... That is insane. <laughs> 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 uh, that's not good, all right? It's not great. Um, oh, my goodness. I, I mean, like, Lycanroc GX is doing no damage to you. Doing 100. Yeah, not mm -hmm. enough. Not enough, man. All right. I'm going to attempt... Uh, I don't have any Pokemon in my deck to search out. I'm going to attempt Max Elixir. There they are. Okay. Onto the Rock Ruff. And then... Okay. We're going to... Bloodthirsty Eyes up your other Rayquaza. Bench this other Rock Ruff and N. All right. Yeah, with only two? I mean, I can only... <laughs> uh, I, I can't do enough. I just can't. Yeah. Um, but let's see. All right, you get two cards. One, two, three, four. Okay. And... Yeah, you're doing 190. I mean, but I have to attack with... Lycan Rock. Let's see. Eventually. I will attach here. I guess I'm going to send up a Rock Ruff, is what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to Abyssal for two. Um, should I attach there? I should attach here. Yeah, that's fine. And Abyssal for two. Okay. I'm going to retreat into Rock Ruff and pass to you. Lele. No chance, dude. For our Guzma. All right. Onto the Zygarde. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Insane. All right. All right. I'm yeah, going first. Yeah, you're going first. Game three. Let's get it. Okay. It's pretty good. Pretty good opening hand here. Mm -hmm. let's, let's do this thing. We're going to Ultra Ball away. Yeah. Choice Band and Tapu Lele. And get ourselves a Buzzwold GX out of the deck. And then Max Elixir, Strong Energy, Cynthia. That's get pretty things good. started. Hope I find a Flowstone so that you don't knock out my Dancy. That would actually be very annoying. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see what we can do. All right, we thinned our deck. Now we're going to Max Elixir. Horrible card. <laughs> <laughs> strong Energy, Cynthia. Hate to see it. You do hate to see it, yes. I think we're playing 10 fighting energy in this yeah, list, you too. Are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Man, dude, 10 fighting energy list. I should be smacking all those max elixirs. Yeah, you really should, but you're not. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Otto says you could have played zero strong energy in your Madison list, and you still would have topped. Uh, Apparently, yeah. you were drawing some heat. I was drawing extremely well that entire <laughs> tournament. <laughs> yeah, 2-2 two, two Octillery line, bro. Insane oh, yeah. deck. Yeah. Insane list. All right, six cards off the Cynthia. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, man. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Would things be better if I hit the max elixir? Yeah. <laughs> Do I have three fighting energy now in my six card hand? Sure. <laughs> sure, I do. I love drawing fighting after I play max elixir. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the best feelings in the world. You're For like, sure. oh, yeah, man. This, <laughs> this rocks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to Brooklyn Hill for uh, Remoraid and pass it on over to you, man. This is not very good. Sick. I'll treasure away. I mean, I guess the blower 
yeah. For the ray. And then I will treasure away the... And you got a broken hand. What you talking about? Stretcher. Are you chilling? Is the marsh shadow in here? It is not. That's unfortunate. It is, because I wish you would let loose me. <laughs> uh, I almost want to get the Latias and Goose on the Remoraid. I. Hmm. No, nah, we're not doing that. I'm getting get another Ray. That seems fine. <laughs> right, you don't got any energy in your discard pile. So, like. I mean, I probably will after these stormy winds, but. I guess so. Yeah. Number one. Dang. You right. Yep. <laughs> Told you. And number two. Dang. Busted uh, deck. Attach return. Broken deck. Too bad I don't have a Mac or else I could Guzma, but I'll stick more. Yep. Oh, jeez. What the heck, man? And ain't no grass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of lightning. All right. <laughs> Look at that hand, bro. <laughs> That's awesome. It is pretty sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's almost like that deck plays 16 energy cards. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Um, man, if I had a flow, it would be insane with the Latias. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I've already attached returns. So I can't even Tempest. No. Do I have energy in here? No. Ultra Ball away. Yeah. Two Lightning yeah, first. <laughs> yeah, that seems good. For the Lele for next turn. Right. And... Uh, I'll be Stormy Winds again. Okay. Look at those oh. dragon. Ooh. I think it's all my Guzma. How many Guzma in that discard pile? One, two, three. Okay, there's only three. Oh. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> hey, no Verse Seeker in this format. Nope. Yo, top, Unfortunately. Top deck and let's go. All right. That's good. Here we go. Fighting Energy and um, before I end, Oh. I would like to Brooklyn Hill, but I will be using it. Okay. <laughs> yes. I would like to not be bad in Brooklyn Hill first. For sure. All right. Now I'll use the end. Yes. Very good. Order of operations. Yeah, just very excited about the end. Mm -hmm. You want to thin the deck first so that, you, you know, especially since I'm digging for a couple of things right here, I'd like to find a float stone and get that uh, Diancy out of the active position. I also would like to find an Octillery Ultra Ball so that I can set up, uh, yeah, the Octillery and start using Abyssal Hand. That'd be very good. I'd like to find a Max Elixir. I mean, really, we'd like to find Floatstone Max Elixir. Hit it. You're out of here. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's a big ask in a format without Tadene or uh, Shaman or, you know, Crobat V. And to be honest, truth be told, I actually vastly prefer a format without Tadene GX or Crobat V. For sure, yeah. Yes. Uh, I have to set up a stage one in order to draw extra cards. Mm. As you should. Yeah. You know, <laughs> because drawing extra cards is very good. Um, so, in my opinion, uh, I think that... Uh, uh, I think that the Denny GX and Crobat V are generally not the best cards for the game. Mm -hmm. um, Makes sense. But that's just that's just my humble opinion. All right, we've got Floatstone. There you go. And uh, we've got Max. L I just think you should have to work for your consistency Pokemon, is all. Not yeah. that they shouldn't exist. Here, I have to set up an Octillery. You know, it just slows down the pace of the game, but I am a huge sack, so here we go. We've got the Floatstone Max Luxor. Oh, yeah, you're done, bud. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. At least there's no Guzma. That'd be horrible. I do not have a Guzma. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. And we got the retreat into Buzzwall GX. And this is why we play the one baby Buzz, is because this list with 10 fighting energy, 10 basic fighting, <laughs> is supposed to lead Buzzwall GX. Yeah. Or Lycanroc, whatever. One of them, right? And we'll put the second Rockruff down, and I will knuckle impact. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to lead Buzzwall GX, and then you go with your one copy of Baby Buzz. Mm -hmm. um, but it's supposed to take a big knockout like that, turn two, be the aggressive deck, right? Uh, be the deck that uh, puts your opponent in, you know, on the back foot. 
And I feel like it's much more difficult to be that aggressive bully of a deck when you have four copies of Baby Buzzle in your deck. Because you're more like chipping away. It's just a different strategy altogether. Yeah. You're like chipping away at Pokemon and trying to like checkmate them. Uh, whereas this deck is just like, oh yeah, get out of here. You know, we're just gonna do, you know, turn two. Uh, how much damage am I doing? Turn two, 160, 190, 210, 230. Yeah, turn two, good. 230 damage. Yeah, no looking back. Well, here goes my fourth Guzma. I need to find an energy or some way to get extra energy on my my fellows. Um. All right, got the max elixir. There it is. Put it on this guy. Um. So this is a knockout, which is very nice. But you do have it, yep. Still in a bad spot because... I got the first big knockout. Yeah. And then I also will... Fuel Blower. Okay. And Parallel. Okay. Oof. Um, I think the Rock Ruff is correct here. And Retreat. And Dragon Break for 190. All right. And the knockout. Now I did play around the field blower like a good player. Let's go. Yes, you did. All right, because I had two float stones in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got that. Now what's tough is that I've got the beast ring in my hand, but you got rid of my my thing, man. Sorry, bro. That was yeah. I wanted a Brooklyn <laughs> Hill for the van and beast ring, and it it would have been great. It doesn't work out like that sometimes. We were gonna have a ton of fun, <laughs> but now I'm in a horrible position. Yeah, I know. Goodness. Parallel is such a broken card. Yeah, Parallel is so insane. Parallel is so good. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah, just... Every deck that doesn't play stadium should just play two Parallel. <laughs> oh, big agree. How in the world do you have all this energy in play with only two bench Pokemon? That's what I'm saying. My Rock Ruff ain't doing nothing. Well, it's kind of rough. I attach for it from hand. I know, I here. know. Yeah, I believe and it. I, I'm I, just, Elixir. I believe it. I just don't want to. And three Stormy wins. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Alrighty then. We're gonna use Sycamore. Got to seven new cards. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um. Brooklyn Hill. Yep. Um. And we're gonna use it. Go get baby bus one. <laughs> it's time. Yep. <laughs> now is the. Now is the time, friend. But I feel like, yeah, it just it doesn't feel great though. Um, let's see, so I'm using Sledgehammer. Uh, we're dealing 120, 140. Yeah, it's nice when you can 60 when you can take a knockout with it. But when yes. you can't take a knockout, it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, Keep in mind, I have zero Guzma. Well, you have three. Right. No, I have all four in the discard pile. All four in the discard pile? Yes. Broken. <laughs> uh, okay, I will be... I think... Using Lycanroc GX to bring up this one. Okay. Attach energy to my Buzzwool. Retreat, and we'll go in. And Sledgehammer for 160. Pretty good. Yo, thank you so much, Pleakly, for those 400 bits. Appreciate you, Pleakly. Draw. Go attached to active. Parallel. Dad. Dragon break. Okay. Going down to three prizes remaining. I've got one more turn of B string, but I'm running out of energy at this point. Um. Also, can no longer max elixir to the Lycan Rock. Yeah. Because it, it is not a basic I'm anymore. I'm aware of the situation, man. <laughs> Um, and you did not play a supporter card? No. I did not. Yo, thank you so much, Pleakly, for that gifted sub as well. Um, okay, you've got no Guzma. Um, all right, so... I've got four prizes remaining. Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 I like need to knock that out. Have to. Yeah, you do. Not sure you can. Uh... We'll attach here. 
and sycamore. You need, a, you need two anything. fighting energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My goodness. Okay. All right. Brooklyn Hill. <laughs> Let's take a look at that deck. Yep. See what the damage is. The damage is significant. <laughs> Alrighty. Hopefully you have at least one attacker. Yeah, that would be the idea. Yeah. Um because the amount of fighting energy I have had to turn through is suboptimal. Uh and then the amount of fighting energy that I've drawn into similarly suboptimal. Yeah. Uh okay. So got four prizes left to take i know you've got no guzma i need to grab buzzwell how much hp do you have left on the active uh four six sixty no yeah sixty sixty okay so jet punch doesn't even do it <laughs> Lance Pulse right. does. I guess it do. Yep. Wait, 30, 50. Oh, no, I can do it with Jet Punch. Yeah, if you have a strong. I have a strong. Yeah. Okay. All right. Right, because there's a Fighting Fury Bell attached to it. It gives it 40 more hit points. Yeah. Um, phew. But if you get two more energy into play, I'm toast. Eh, that's a little rough. All right, so I'm going to use B-Strength. Mm -hmm. There's only one Fighting Energy left in my deck because I drew into two off the Sycamore and then discard two off the previous. Very uh, suboptimal, yeah. for sure. Yeah, suboptimal, unfortunate. Um, and then I can attach the Strong. And we can Ultra Ball for Octillery. Draw some cards. Okay. Yep. Four brand new cards. Four. Okay. Um. Let's see. Now. I think I saved that card. Gonna jet punch, soften the dude up. Yeah, I think I saved that. I mean, I need you to not take a knockout for sure. So, okay. I'm gonna come with this guy. Yep. And we will jet punch and we will soften up the. Uh, this thing has 220 hit points. Put it to 190. I mean, um, I think, yeah, we'll do that one. All right. Take my two prizes. That needed the knopping energy. And I need to hit this max elixir. Okay, that's good. Cool. Not cool. Very cool for me. <laughs> Very uncool for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need, you need quite a bit to win next turn. I understand. Yes. Yes. I'm not even sure w how you could do it. True. You're one hit KOing any everything right now. Do I dig for the... Marshadow was prized. Yeah. There's no point in digging for it. Um, how many cards left in my deck? You're dealing 190. Exactly. Yep. The question is, do I stick more away this hand of three energy? Um, probably. Uh, Dragon Break. Okay. All right. So we'll promote Diane C. We're in a tough spot. You're dealing 190 damage. I have no way to remove your Fighting Fury belts. It's just not great. How many Max Elixir do I have left in the deck? One. Oh. One Max Elixir in the discard pile. Okay. 
There's only one Max Luxor in the Discord pile. If there's yep. any way that I don't lose, that has something to do with it. So let's rescue stretcher for a Buzzwell GX. Put it onto my bench. Mm -hmm. And then I have to Ultra Ball away Zygarde and like a rock. Bro. <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> um, you know what these two cards are? Two strong energy? Oh. Uh, Max looks. Oh, oh, and, and a fighting. And a fighting, yes. That's not good. Um, anyways, I will fail this. Yeah. I do not have enough energy left in my deck to be able to win this game. <laughs> Uh, I have to attach to my Lycanroc, and I have to end. Unfortunately. So I end us to two. And then I can Abyssal Hand here, three. And then I have to retreat into my Lycanroc and pass to you. Oh my goodness! Yep, and then yep. You get the last energy, insane knockout. <laughs> GGS. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, great games. Will yes, good games. Yeah, I think like we saw how lopsided that matchup can be. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes it can just be extremely hard to respond. Rayquaza that's got two hundred and twenty HP. Mm -hmm. You know, if you just don't hit the cards in the right order, is Buzzrock. Um, you know, that can be a very challenging. Uh, match to overcome, but mm. then sometimes you know you get everything going correctly. Even even that game, I took a turn two knockout with Buzzwell GX. Still lost. It's still lost, man. <laughs> yeah, felt uh, felt right. rough. So that Here's was sixty uh, first card. Yeah, those are some very good games for sure. I think that that. Uh, I mean, I know Otto beat most of the Buzz Rocks he played against. Yeah, with this deck. I mean, that's how he grinded into day two. Mm. Is that he was just beating Buzz Rocks left and right. Yeah, and I think like. That's how. After seeing that, that's how he did it. Yeah. yeah. Just going in with Rayquaza, uh, absolutely no breaks, and just, uh, you know, taking huge knockouts turn after turn. Uh, and he apparently dodged all of the Garbodor. No oh. trash lands garb, you <laughs> yeah. know, in sight, uh, and made his way into day two of the World Championships. So congrats to Will on that uh, best of three, and thank you for joining us, Will, for the stream. No problem, man. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a super welcoming community there, and we'd love you to be a part of it. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.